Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamira Benson, one part of Team Benson, and it's a day in my life. So, this should be fun. Okay guys, so I have actually been enjoying doing these. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do the day in the life videos, but you guys let me know if you like them, because if you like them, then I'll continue doing them. But I've been enjoying doing them because it kind of like lets you guys get to know me a little bit better. And it's just, I don't know, something other, something else to do. <laughs> so today we are gonna do a couple different things. It is a Tuesday for reference. So I do have my office open today. I do have my team here with me today it's not the full team so it's not as crazy but it's still going to be a crazy day I'm going to show you guys some of the garden because early in the morning on Tuesdays I kind of evaluate my garden so usually it's after a harvest which I will be filming a harvest video today so I'm a day late with that so it's after a harvest and I also can kind of look and see what I'm going to be keeping and what I need to start considering taking out because we're getting close to a change in season. And as you guys know, I plant alongside the rains and kind of how the weather is um, versus using just like a strict like planting guide. So we're gonna go through and kind of talk about that. I'm also gonna go to the grocery store because I wanna talk to you guys about what's going on at the grocery stores. So that's gonna be a thing. I'll do like a little bit of a haul. I have to go up towards like Northern Arizona. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Arizona while I go see one of my clients today. So you guys will get to see a little bit of what Arizona looks like off the freeway <laughs> because we'll be driving up the freeway. We're just going up to like basically whatever's on top of Scottsdale, Arizona. So we're going to like Northern Scottsdale, Arizona slash like Cave Creek area. So that's gonna be a thing. And then, I don't know, we'll see what else comes of the day. So yeah, let's just do this. Okay guys, so having a small space garden, you have to really decide like, what's gonna be a thing, what's not gonna be a thing in your garden and where you have those spaces at. Um, because you wanna make the most out of it. So it's like, before you even take it out, you wanna already plan what you got going in because you don't wanna be at late with those things. So let's kinda of look at some stuff. So in here, I really want to get to my goal of my 15 things of greens, but I, so I'm going to leave these collard greens, but I'm not going to get Brussels sprouts. I've just come to that conclusion. So I'm going to take out these Brussels sprouts because there's just, there's just no chance guys that those are going to form into anything before it gets too hot. So I'm going to go ahead, take this out and I'm going to use this area as kind of like a composting area for the worms that are in here to kind of get them alive and active and kind of getting that soil ready for the summertime. And that'll give me a little space to be able to put some of these leaves actually down in there. Now over here, I'm probably going to do the same thing where I'm going to, I know I'm taking out this lettuce coming up here. I'm just going to go ahead and harvest some of this today so it won't get completely taken out, but I'm going to be taking out that soon. This celery right here is also going to be coming out soon. It's going to be in here for a while, maybe like a couple more weeks. Same thing with the Swiss chard, but I want to start thinking about thinning things out. I don't need this much Swiss chard, so I might take out one of them and then do the same thing where I'm composting in that area. Now over here, my cauliflower has been gone for a while, so I added some soil on top. And this is more of an area that it's probably already been composted a little bit in here, so I can start adding some seeds. So I'm gonna add some squash plants in this area. So these ones are also coming out in my harvest video, so I'm gonna be able to add some stuff there. I'm going to trim up this Roma tomato and single stem it so it doesn't turn out, you know, like that, <laughs> even though we love that. And then also I'm going to be dropping seeds in this area too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dig a hole 
kind of back there in the middle and I'm going to plant some, or not plant, but bury some leaves in there so that then it gets this area active for the um, Chinese red lung noodle beans that are growing and then my Armenian cucumber that's growing, that's gonna be growing too. This area, I'm going to leave the celery because this is gonna be my last stronghold for celery and my last stronghold for collard greens because they're gonna be protected a lot longer by this um, tomato and then it's gonna be taken over and protected a lot longer by the Armenian cucumber. These are going to be coming out because guys, look at this. You guys see that right there? that is a baby okra <laughs> and so that means it's time to take out the broccoli so guys part of me being able to keep my garden bug free for most part keep it nice and healthy green and active and stuff always growing in it it's just kind of knowing when to say when <laughs> so although we have been enjoying let me sit down here. We have been enjoying these broccoli shoots and we've been putting out a lot of broccoli shoots, but now the plant is intent on growing flowers. As you can see that stock right there, this one right here, it doesn't even matter if I'm pulling them early, it's shooting up a stock that is intent on growing flowers. So what's gonna happen next is it's gonna bring in those bugs. It's gonna bring in all of the insects to just eat down those leaves and help it to get there. So all I'm gonna do is just pull it out before that happens. That saves me the headache of getting all of these aphids and all those different things in my garden and it helps me into where then I can still use those little leaves. Because as you guys know, I have been saving most of these broccoli leaves for my mulch and also to feed my worms in my worm bin, so for the summer, and then also for the worms in the big beds. Now, the rest of these, I'm gonna make my broccoli powder, and that goes into my fruit smoothies. So, yeah, all right. Well, that's it for the garden of what I'm deciding. Let's go inside and get ready to go to the grocery store. Okay, guys, so I went to the grocery store, and there were a couple disturbing things <laughs> that I want to show you guys. Um, and so I filmed a little bit in the grocery store. Hopefully you can hear me okay, because I was trying to like whisper because <laughs> it's awkward to me filming in a grocery store. But there were some things like, I don't know if you guys have noticed or if this has happened in your grocery stores, but our aisles have expanded, meaning the actual shelves have shrunk. So instead of it being like, okay, there's no food on these shelves, now the shelves look way more packed, but the aisles have gotten way bigger. Like there's so much room in these aisles now. Like I'm gonna show you guys once um, in the second half of this, I'm gonna show you guys what the grocery store looked like. And there's still, sorry for the inconvenience stickers popping up, even on the, even with the aisles being smaller and or the, the shelves being smaller, there's still things that we're not getting in. But my concern is, that they expanded our neighborhood. So when I first moved out here, it was like maybe like just two neighborhoods and that was it. Now they've expanded it to where there's literally packed in so many different neighborhoods. So we've expanded the amount of people that are out here and now we're shrinking our grocery stores. And it really makes me uh, want to put an emphasis on making sure you guys have at least a year supply of food having that year supply of food not only makes it to where you know you're getting stuff at a cheaper price because then you can be picky about what you buy which is what i did today like you can be picky about it versus having to buy it because you need it right then and there and it also just gives you that security so that if something happens to where then everybody rushes to the grocery store and buys a bunch of groceries then they're there's something that you still have at your house. So one, you're not rushing out to buy things at higher prices, like what happened during like, you know, 2020. People were buying and filling their house with groceries, but they were spending thousands of dollars doing it because they just hiked up the prices. So you're able to have more control over what your budget is, which is what I think is so important these days because everything is so expensive down to food and moving on to gas to even go get the food. It's all very, very expensive. 
soon. So what I did when I first started my pantry, and this was probably about seven years ago at this point, because when I got married, I realized that I was feeding not only myself, but somebody else. <laughs> and that somebody else was working like 80 hours a week at this time and did not have time to go grocery shopping. So it made me really think, okay, you know what? I need to not just think of what I like at the grocery stores, but also what my husband likes and make sure that we have those things in our home. Because I was also working, not working 80 hours a week, probably like 45, but I had more time to make sure that we had the things that we needed. So when we were coming off of work, we were able to have dinner at home and have the stuff that we liked. So it kind of started that way. And then I started realizing that this was saving us money and this was way better than having to go to the grocery store every single month and spending like a thousand dollars or at that time like fifteen hundred dollars just getting the th different things that we liked at those high prices because I wasn't being particular about when I was buying things. Nowadays, I will get things in certain times um, and when I'm getting things for like my pantry, I get things when they're on sale and I also use a, an app called Ibotta, which I will link down below because I think if you don't have it already and you use my link, then you get like five or ten dollars on your Ibotta so that then you're starting off with like five or ten dollars, I believe. It's one of those. I also get like five dollars too, I think. I think like five dollars. <laughs> I think it's five dollars each way. But anyways, the I bought is a cash back. So if I can find something that has a coupon, then I'm already saving money on it. And then it has an I bought a cash back, then I can get the cash back on it too. So, or just if it's on a coupon or I bought a, and it's at a cheaper price, then I could just go ahead and get those different things. So that's what I did. I'm gonna take you guys to the grocery store and let you kind of just see what's going on. And then also I found something for our Aussie subscriber. So you'll see that too. So they're different um, shelving units, which gives a lot of space now in between these aisles. So the same thing with these shelves, it's not that there's more food, there's just less, less space for the shelves. And if you can see the difference in the color right there, these used to go out to here and they repainted them. So guys, this is why I stopped buying canned tomatoes and I start canning my own because they now contain calcium chloride and it doesn't matter if you're getting like the organic ones because they now contain calcium chloride, which they didn't before. None of the organic ones used to contain it, but now they do. So guys, this section used to be half spring water, half purified water. Now it is just purified water. And that is just the spring water section. Literally just the natural spring water and the arrowhead, that's it. Okay, so here is my tiny little grocery haul. Now I'm gonna talk about the different things that I got. Now what I used to always do is always get a bottle of distilled vinegar. This made it to where when there was no more vinegar, I always had vinegar. I used vinegar for cooking, cleaning, medicine, all different types of things. So I wanna make sure that I always have a couple of these in my house, so I always have a back like stock of them. This was clearly just for one of our subscribers. She's in Australia and she said that my canned spinach reminded her of Popeye. And I was like, we have Popeye's canned spinach, which is actually really good because it doesn't have any crazy ingredients. It literally just has spinach, water, and salt, and it was cheaper. Now, we don't always have it. It's also kosher too. So we don't always have it like in the stores, but there were two cans left. I bought these two cans just for her. So that's for you. <laughs> um, tuna is something that if you just get a little bit at a time, now there was, there was a coupon on the tuna and there was an I bought a cash back on the tuna. So I got exactly amount, the exact amount that the coupon would let me and for the I bought a cash back, which was four of these ones. Now, if you're getting the ones in the packet, only get the ones that are the light, like tuna and water, just the plain ones, because those are the only ones that are kosher. The other ones are not kosher. So if you get those ones, you know, just 
don't think that, okay, this one's kosher, so then you go to the grocery store to buy all the other ones because the flavor ones are not. Now, it had one can of the albacore tuna, so I got one of those, and then two cans of the regular light tuna, and all of these are kosher too. So, yes. Then, since we have um, Passover coming up, there was a coupon for Manischewitz wine. I use this for my Haroset, and then also I use this for um, our Jello shots. Now, let's talk about water. Now, I showed you guys the water aisle. It kind of really makes me nervous that spring water is in such a short supply, and I will talk about that afterwards. But, guys, I know bottled water isn't the best thing to get, but when you live in the city and you don't have your own well, you don't have your own spring, it's you have to kind of pick a struggle. So I like to stock up on these cases because I would rather have cases of bottled water that may be in plastic and not the best for you than not have any water because of the whole situation with the water that is going on at just like coming out of our tap. Now, all of these had coupons on them these two were store coupons, so I got these ones for $3.99. And then all of these were store coupons, plus I had a Ibotta cash back on them. So there was like $1.99 for each one of these. And I got smaller ones for my staff because my staff has been wasting water. <laughs> so I got smaller ones for them. And then I got bigger ones for me because typically I drink like three of these in one container, like every time I fill up my... Um, my cup so I just got a bigger one just because they were on sale and a lot cheaper so yes yeah, so that is the little haul so guys that little haul only cost me like I want to say $40 and then I got two dollars back off from the Ibotta with the different things that I got so you know, it's one of those things that if you take your normal grocery budget and just add $50 onto that and then go to the grocery store and use those $50 just for things that you would be getting to stock your pantry, but they're on sale or you have a coupon or you can get it like cash back from Ibotta or even cash back from the Fry's app. If there's a Fry's or Kroger's where you guys are, they have a cash back app on theirs too. So only getting those things. So with that $50, it's only things that are that are going to be in your long-term pantry and only things that are on sale. Don't deviate from that. Don't do anything like that. And you'll see that you're slowly going to start building up your, your supply of food and it'll be just a little bit more of a security for you. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and... <laughs> go up north. You guys are going to see a little bit of Arizona while we're driving because I'll have some of my staff with me in the car so that then they can film while I'm driving safely. <laughs> so I will show you guys just a little bit of AZ. Okay guys, so I am driving now to go to my clients on the way. I thought that I would stop by Lowe's because that is typically where I get my stevia plant and they have been out. Literally they said the moment that they get them in, people are buying them up. I think people are finally on the stevia trend, which makes me happy. But since I lost my stevia plants because I didn't take care of it good enough, that means I can't find one. Now they do have the chocolate mint. I know a lot of people have asked me for a chocolate mint and where I found it at and it was Lowe's. The Lowe's in Tempe, if you guys are in Arizona, has chocolate mint. I'm gonna go try and find another Lowe's on my way to North Scottsdale to see if I can get a stevia plant because I'm getting worried guys. Even AMP Nursery doesn't have it. Okay guys, so there was so much going on the other day that I did not realize that I didn't finish this video. So, but it's a good thing because I found the goods. The stevia plants are now procured. Um, so I found these at Whitman Nursery. I will link them down below. 
for all the Arizona people. I know if you guys are looking for them and you don't live in Arizona, Lowe's typically has them, which they also have the chocolate mint that a lot of people have asked me about. And then if also if you live in Arizona, um, AMP said that they were going to have some by this Friday. So exciting stuff, <laughs> but I just wanted to hop on and end the video. Also, I wanted to show you guys these watering bulbs. I don't know if I've showed them before, but these ones I got from Target. They have them in their dollar spot for a dollar. So, which is cheaper than the ones at Dollar Tree, which are $1.25 or $1.50. Can't believe, can't remember what they've gone up to. But I'm excited. I bought enough of these. I bought 10 of these because I want some for every last one of my pots. This year, I'm gonna really make sure that I am on my watering game for the summer because my garden is doing really well. Like it's doing really well, everything's really happy, and I'm excited to start planting my summer stuff. So just want to pop back on in this video, but until next time, make sure you guys are growing yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.